Hello and welcome in today's video we will learn what Bitcoin is. What is Bitcoin? Bitcoin is a decentralized digital currency created in January 2009. It follows the ideas set out in a white paper by the mysterious and pseudonymous Satoshi Nakamoto.12 The identity of the person or persons who created the technology is still a mystery. Bitcoin offers the promise of lower transaction fees than traditional online payment mechanisms do, and unlike government-issued currencies, it is operated by a decentralized authority. Bitcoin is known as a type of cryptocurrency because it uses cryptography to keep it secure. There are no physical bitcoins, only balances kept on a public ledger that everyone has transparent access to, although each record is encrypted. All bitcoin transactions are verified by a massive amount of computing power via a process known as mining. Bitcoin is not issued or backed by any banks or governments, nor is an individual bitcoin valuable as a commodity. Despite it not being legal tender in most parts of the world, Bitcoin is very popular and has triggered the launch of hundreds of other cryptocurrencies, collectively referred to as altcoins. Bitcoin is commonly abbreviated as BTC when traded. Key takeaways. 1. Launched in 2009, Bitcoin is the world's largest cryptocurrency by market capitalization. 1. Unlike fiat currency, Bitcoin is created, distributed, traded, and stored with the use of a decentralized ledger system, known as a blockchain. 1. Bitcoin's history as a store of value has been turbulent. It has gone through several cycles of boom and bust over its relatively short lifespan. 1. As the earliest virtual currency to meet widespread popularity and success, Bitcoin has inspired a host of other cryptocurrencies in its wake. Understanding Bitcoin. The Bitcoin system is a collection of computers, also referred to as nodes, or miners, that all run Bitcoin's code and store its blockchain. Figuratively speaking, a blockchain can be thought of as a collection of blocks. In each block is a collection of transactions. Because all of the computers running the blockchain have the same list of blocks and transactions and can transparently see these new blocks as they're filled with new Bitcoin transactions, no one can cheat the system. Anyone, whether they run a Bitcoin node or not, can see these transactions occurring in real time. To achieve a nefarious act, a bad actor would need to operate 51% of the computing power that makes up Bitcoin. Bitcoin has around 13,768 full nodes, as of mid-November 2021, and this number is growing, making such an attack quite unlikely. But if an attack were to happen, Bitcoin miners, the people who take part in the Bitcoin network with their computers, would likely split off to a new blockchain, making the effort the bad actor put forth to achieve the attack a waste. Balances of Bitcoin tokens are kept using public and private keys, which are long strings of numbers and letters linked through the mathematical encryption algorithm that creates them. The public key, comparable to a bank account number, serves as the address published to the world and to which others may send Bitcoin. The private key, comparable to an ATM pin, is meant to be a guarded secret and only used to authorize Bitcoin transmissions. Bitcoin keys should not be confused with a Bitcoin wallet, which is a physical or digital device that facilitates the trading of Bitcoin and allows users to track ownership of coins. The term wallet is a bit misleading because Bitcoin's decentralized nature means it is never stored in a wallet, but rather distributed on a blockchain. Peer-to-peer -peer technology. Bitcoin is one of the first digital currencies to use peer-to-peer -peer, P2P technology to facilitate instant payments. The independent individuals and companies who own the governing computing power and participate in the Bitcoin network, Bitcoin miners, are in charge of processing the transactions on the blockchain and are motivated by rewards, the release of new Bitcoin, and transaction fees paid in Bitcoin. These miners can be thought of as the decentralized authority enforcing the credibility of the Bitcoin network. New Bitcoins are released to miners at a fixed but periodically declining rate. There are only 21 million Bitcoins that can be mined in total. As of November 2021, there are over 18.875 million Bitcoin in existence and less than 2.125 million Bitcoin left to mine. In this way, Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies operate differently from fiat currency. In centralized banking systems, the currency is created at a rate matching the growth of the economy. This system is intended to maintain price stability. A decentralized system, like Bitcoin, sets the release rate ahead of time and according to an algorithm. Bitcoin mining. Bitcoin mining is the process by which Bitcoin is released into circulation. Generally, mining requires solving computationally difficult puzzles to discover a new block, which is added to the blockchain. Bitcoin mining adds and verifies transaction records across the network. 
Miners are rewarded with some Bitcoin. The reward is halved every 210,000 blocks. The block reward was 50 new Bitcoins in 2009. On May 11, 2020, the third halving occurred, bringing the reward for each block discovery down to 6.25 Bitcoins. A variety of hardware can be used to mine Bitcoin. However, some yield higher rewards than others. Certain computer chips, called application-specific integrated circuits, ASICs, and more advanced processing units, such as graphic processing units, GPUs, can achieve more rewards. These elaborate mining processes are known as mining rigs. One Bitcoin is divisible to eight decimal places, 100 millionths of one Bitcoin, and this smallest unit is referred to as a Satoshi.6 if necessary, and if the participating miners accept the change, Bitcoin could eventually be made divisible to even more decimal places. Who is Satoshi Nakamoto? No one knows who invented Bitcoin, or at least not conclusively. Satoshi Nakamoto is the name associated with the person or group of people who released the original Bitcoin white paper in 2008 and worked on the original Bitcoin software that was released in 2009. In the years since then, many individuals have either claimed to be or been rumored to be the real-life people behind the pseudonym, but as of November 2021, the true identity, or identities, of Satoshi Nakamoto remains obscured. Although it is tempting to believe the media's spin that Satoshi Nakamoto is a solitary quixotic genius who created Bitcoin out of thin air, such innovations do not typically happen in a vacuum. All major scientific discoveries, no matter how seemingly original, were built on previously existing research. There are precursors to Bitcoin. Adam Back's Hashcash, invented in 1997, and subsequently Wei Dai's B-Money, Nick Sabo's BitGold, and Hal Finney's reusable proof of work. The Bitcoin white paper itself makes reference to Hashcash and B-Money as well as various other works spanning several research fields. Perhaps unsurprisingly, many of the individuals behind the other projects named above have been speculated to have also had a hand in creating Bitcoin. There are a few possible motivations for Bitcoin's inventor to keep their identity secret. One is privacy. As Bitcoin has gained in popularity, becoming something of a worldwide phenomenon, Satoshi Nakamoto would likely garner a lot of attention from the media and from governments. Another reason could be the potential for Bitcoin to cause a major disruption in the current banking and monetary systems. If Bitcoin were to gain mass adoption, the system could surpass nation's sovereign fiat currencies. This threat to existing currency could motivate governments to want to take legal action against Bitcoin's creator. The other reason is safety. Looking at 2009 alone, 32,490 blocks were mined. At the reward rate of 50 Bitcoin per block, the total payout in 2009 was 1,624,500 Bitcoin. One may conclude that only Satoshi and perhaps a few other people were mining through 2009 and that they possess a majority of that stash of Bitcoin. Someone in possession of that much Bitcoin could become a target of criminals, especially considering that Bitcoin is less like stocks and more like cash wherein the private keys needed to authorize spending could be printed out and literally kept under a mattress. Thank you for watching today's video on what Bitcoin is. Please like, subscribe and comment down below for more amazing tips and finance information.